Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you about MBR and GPT hard disk types, how to learn which type you're using, how to convert MBR into GPT and vice versa with Windows standard tools, why you may need it, and what are the consequences of such conversion. I'll also show you which software to use for conversion without data loss. There are two methods of storing the partition table on a hard disk. GPT is a newer standard created for disks with capacity over 2TB and required for booting Windows in UEFI mode. On the contrary, MBR is an older type which only allows creating up to four partitions on disks under 2TB. It is required to boot old versions of the operating system older than Windows 8. You can learn which one BIOS or UEFI you are using by pressing the key sequence Windows plus R. In the window that opens, type the command msinfo32, and you can see this information in the window that opens next, in the BIOS version date line. To see what system of partitions your hard disk is using, right-click on the Start menu and select Disk Management. Then right-click on the necessary disk and select Properties, then go to the tab Volumes, and in the line Partition Style you will see either Master Boot Record MBR or GUID Partition Table, which is actually the GPT. You can also see it by running the command Disk Part in the command prompt. To do it, type CMD in the search field, right-click on the command prompt and select Run it as administrator. Enter Disk Part and then List Disk. As a result, you will see a table with the information on the disks. If the disk is using GPT, it will have an asterisk. If it's using MPR, the column will be empty. For example, disk 0 is using GPT and disk 1 MBR. There are several ways to convert a hard disk from MBR into GPT and vice versa with Windows tools. The first is to enter disk management by right-clicking on the Start menu, selecting the necessary disk, right-clicking on it and choosing the line Convert to GPT disk. The disk for such conversion should have no partitions, otherwise the function will, will be unavailable, just like in my case with disk 1, it's inactive. To convert such disk, you'll have to delete all partitions to make the function available. I delete the volume and now conversion option is active. Click Convert to GPT disk, then click on the disk and select New Simple Volume. Next, if you check the box Don't format the volume, then after the operation the disk will not be available and the system will suggest to format it. That's why don't change anything here, just click Next and Finish. That's all, the disk has been converted into GPT. But as you have noticed, all the information was deleted, so before you convert a disk, you should copy important data to another disk. The other method for conversion involves the command prompt. This way you, you also delete partitions and the information will be lost. Run the command prompt as administrator, then enter the command disk part, press Enter, then list disk, then select disk and the number of such disk to be converted, in my, in my case that's disk 1. Then clean, and after this command all data will be removed from the disk, so be careful when choosing the disk for conversion. Then enter the command convert MBR or convert GPT, depending on what kind of disk you want in the end. After you have converted the disk with the command prompt, you should format it with Disk Management. New Simple Volume. Both of the set methods convert a disk from MBR to GPT and vice versa, but the information on the disk will be lost. In disk management, you can also create uh, other volumes, for example, spanned, striped or mirrored, but for this purpose, you need at least two disks. A spanned volume joins three spaces, uh, free spaces in several disks into one logical disk. If you need more space than one of our disks can provide, you can expand it with a free space in another disk. The advantage of spanned volumes is good isolation of failures, easy capacity planning and direct analysis of performance. A strapped volume provides quicker data access than simple or spanned volumes. The more disks you combine, the higher is the bandwidth, but the reliability will become less. Loss of any of the disks within the combination will mean losing more data than you would lose in a simple or spanned volume. 
A mirrored volume creates a copy of the information on the second disk. To create a volume of, of a certain type, select it from the list. Next, choose the disks. Next, assign the drive letter. Next, ready. OK. As you can see, I have created a striped volume consisting of four disks. Theoretically, performance of such a combined disk should grow fourfold. But now let's go back to converting. Why we need it? For example, when installing Windows 7 you can face an error. Windows cannot be installed on this disk. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style. In this case, the method using the command prompt will come in handy. During the installation, when you see the word install, press the key sequence Shift plus F10 to start the command prompt and use it to convert the disk into the required type as I have shown before. After the conversion, you should go to UFI, the boot section and disable secure boot, then enable legacy mode or CSM depending on the version and the error will go away. The easiest way for conversion is doing it with the installer. While you are installing the operating system, go to Disk Settings, remove all partitions and create them again without using the command prompt. In this case, the disk will be created with the MBR table, but it is true only if your disk is no bigger than 2 terabytes. If it has more capacity than that, this operation will create a GPT table again. As I have already said, the information will be lost. Another error you may see when installing a new operating system is Windows cannot be installed on this disk. The selected disk has an MBR partition table. On EFI systems, Windows can only be installed on GPT disks. In this case, you should modify UEFI settings. In the settings, find the section Boot and disable Secure Boot there. Then enable Legacy Mode or CSM depending on the version of the operating system and the error should be fixed. Converting disks without losing data. There are a number of programs to convert MBR into GPT and vice versa without loss of data. My choice is LMA Partition Assistant and you can see there is some data on my disk D. I start the program, click on the necessary disk, right-click, select Convert to GPT Disk, OK. To start the process, click Apply and proceed in the window that opens. When the operation is over, you will see a window saying Congratulations! All operations have been completed successfully. Click OK. As you can see, the disk has been converted into GPT and all the information was preserved. The program can easily convert the system disk as well. Now I'm going to convert my system disk and show you the final result. Click on the system disk convert to GPT disk. OK. Apply. The system will be converted after the restart. After conversion, my system didn't boot. In order to make it happen, go to UFI and modify some settings. I'll show you which settings you should change with the example of a Dell motherboard. Find the section Boot and change Legacy to UFI, then click Add Boot Options, specify the name and path to the EFI bootloader file and click OK. Select the bootloader as the first priority item, then save settings and exit, and after that my operating system booted successfully. As you can see, the system disk was converted without losing data. However, before you do it, save important information to another disk to prevent data loss, as the results of using such software are sometimes unpredictable. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!